tell me why I was just on Twitter and I saw Stephen A. Smith talking to Ronnie 2K about players' ratings as if Stephen A. Smith played 2K. Like, you know damn well you don't play the game. Why are you worrying about players' ratings? How about, the, how about a 93 for that one? I like a 93 for him. What he did with the Phoenix Suns last year, the floor general that he is, the level of efficiency, plus he led them to the NBA Finals. He talking about, oh, CP3. He carried the Phoenix Suns to the NBA Finals. One of the most dynamic guards in the league. A spectacular passer, floor general extraordinaire. He got to at least be a 93. Ronnie 2K talking about Chris Paul going to disappoint you. He's only a 90. <laughs> Like he's like Steven, they play the game. How you go get mad over ratings? You don't even play the game. Like, what do it matter to you for? Anyway, Chad, welcome to the sauce mob. Hit that button that say subscribe and join the ride. You feel me? I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but I be relaxing on the weekends. I don't know if y'all noticed that. Reese don't be uploading on like Sundays and Mondays. I've been doing that for the past like four months. I don't know if you caught on. Some of y'all don't keep your ear to the streets and some of y'all oblivious to the plot. Y'all don't be seeing anything. You live life with like high beams on. You don't, you're, you're unaware. You don't see to the left and to the right. You ain't got no peripheral vision because you ain't noticed that. You wasn't noticing Reese don't upload on Sundays and Mondays or Reese don't stream. So listen, what I did did over the weekend i watch netflix you know life lit when you excited for netflix listen this is this is this is what i've been hearing squid game squid game squid game so i had to keep my ear to the street and see what they was talking about now keep in mind the only time i watch netflix is when the streets is talking the last time the streets talked they told me about 13 reasons they told me about bird box they told me about stranger things why am i out of focus those are the shows that the people have talked about and i think on my block i'll give it to you maybe on my block because i did see on my block i don't remember if anybody was talking about it but some reason i watched it i don't watch netflix but i wanted to check out on my block i don't remember a lot of people talking about that let me know in the comments if on my block is a popular show but anyway season four of on my block just came out i binge watched the whole fourth season it ended trash. It is trash. If you haven't seen season four on my block and you've been watching the previous season, don't watch it. It don't it ain't nothing. Squid games. People kept talking about it. I had no idea what it was. Now that I've why do it keep going out of so I had to watch the trailer on YouTube and that trailer on YouTube blew my mind, bro. They showed you enough, but they didn't spoil you anything. That's how a trailer's supposed to be. Get you excited and still leave you confused. So I needed to check it out after that. The only problem I had with that YouTube trailer is that it was in Korean and they had the subtitles in English. I said, bro, I'm not about to read a movie. How am I going to read a movie? You're supposed to watch it. I ain't the type of person that reads subtitles for eight hours. How am I supposed to watch a full show where I'm reading the whole 30 minutes? It ain't a book. Listen chat but it's dubbed in english and you can't tell me that those english voice actors voices didn't match the faces attached to each actor they did a good job i ain't gonna sit here and lie to you it was at points throughout the whole show i was forgetting they wasn't even american like like the, the, the voice acting was so good i forgot that these was that these was korean actors bro are you out of your mind Huh? Are you out of your mind? This is hard. That was fire. The best character for me had to be the girl. Shorty was bad and her voice actress made her voice like her voice with that face. I swear to God, she like an Asian Zendaya or something. <laughs> anyway, chat, what we doing today, we going to be talking about the build that I made. The last time I played the game was like three days ago, two days ago. You know how life works. Listen. You, you heard about this thing called mental health. Like, you got to take mental health breaks because 2K trash. <laughs> Imagine if I didn't. Imagine if I ain't turned this dumb game off. I'd be ready to fly out this window. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. 
got me spending a million dollars just to make one player. And you know that you can't find out an, uh, if your player trash or not until you get a couple badges up on them. So now I got to grind badges a little bit more, get some more badges on them. Because the last build I made was trash. So now we re re refixed them. Now hopefully, sick. I still got to get badges to make sure I did what I wanted to do correctly. You get what I'm saying? So I've made play around builds so far. My, my 610 center, that dribble, that was a joke. Obviously, I'm playing around if I'm trying to make a center that can dribble. That's not serious. So then I tried to make an undersized point guard. That's me playing around again. Of course, I'm not going to be super LeBron with a six foot guard and the whole game full of like tall players so of course me being six feet is gonna hold me back a little bit i made it as a joke so i made another joke player i made another six foot guard hopefully this time i fixed what i did wrong the first time and guess what if i mess this one up there's no way i can tell until i get my badges and we just wasted more money so listen we still got a plan of making a third and final build on season two i'm gonna make my final build when season two a 2k drop which is in like 18 days 17 days it ain't that far away so in a in like two weeks i'm gonna make a new build again for season two and i'm gonna make a meta build you know the build that's that i'm definitely gonna be comp 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 with it ain't gonna be no joke it ain't gonna be a play around i'm gonna make a serious build because i want to see what changes come to the game come season two so i'm gonna make a build that sh that's going with the current meta or whatever the change gonna be because you know we need to make that happen huh you know we need to make that happen. Right now, we're just going to sit back, relax, grind me some badges for my six-foot build, and really make sure that we locked in for when it's time to play on this next gen. Let me know what y'all been up to this weekend because Reese been chilling. You can see it in my face. The boy relax. I can't play 2K every day. I'm not like y'all. I know, chat, you be playing 2K every day. It drives me crazy. It, it, it ain't even the game itself. It's the people. It's the players in the game. Some of y'all are so trash that i can't deal with them for seven days a week i don't know how your mom did it so listen <laughs> listen some of y'all so trash and annoying that I, it confuses me how your relatives deal with you so you want me to do it through a video game Shit. not me you better go find somebody else to annoy because i ain't dealing with it and the game the game frustrating because i'm be losing easy wins because my teammates be so trash. I really like the state of 2K22. Mike Wang did a fantastic job making this game. We got to keep nailing that on the head. Because this is the first good 2K in a good 3-4 years. And it's actually enjoyable to play. But you would dry yourself crazy if you try to play 2K every day. You out of your mind, bro. Reese ain't doing it. Those are the sh**.